Well, as our project house moves along, the guys have started to install our permanent furniture. That's what I call cabinets, permanent furniture, because it's gonna be here for the lifetime of the house. Woodmode has helped us out with cabinets. Woodmode builds really high-end custom cabinets. Since we're building a million dollar house, we thought it'd be appropriate to use them in here. Now there's a lot of things you can do with cabinets. You need to really start with your doors because it's the first thing people are gonna see when they walk in. All different patterns you can do on the exteriors of the doors. Something to watch for is the frames on the doors or the frameless doors. If you look at what we have, you can see no exposed frame around these doors at all. That's because it's a frameless cabinet. You open it up, no frame in there either. It's got hidden hinges, so when you close the door, you don't see the hinge on the exterior. But you open it up and there it is. It's not like the old style hidden hinges that just open up 90 degrees. These cabinet doors do go to about 110, 120 degrees, so they get out of your way if you're working directly underneath the cabinet itself. Very nice cabinets. They do offer the traditional styles. Over here we've got a frame cabinet door. And as you can see, the difference is the frame is exposed. This is what people have used for years and years. A lot of people go into frameless now, but this is the traditional look. Just depends on the design of your house that you're doing as far as what you choose. Colors and finishes and different wood types are endless choices. Now the designer has done a lot of work with wood mode when they picked out how this kitchen's gonna lay out. Done a lot of the nice things as far as elevation changes on our upper cabinets. Our base cabinets cut back and forth just like our upper cabinets do. So it's very appealing to the eye when you walk into this kitchen. It's not just flat surfaces with flat tops. It moves all the way around. A lot of specialty items, like here, it looks like around our sink, we just have a frame on this cabinet, but it's not a frame. You open it up, it's a spice rack. Back here in corners, a dangerous spot to have a lot of wasted space. You need to take advantage of all the space that you can in the kitchen. But here's an area that we wouldn't be able to reach, except Woodmo did something really nice here. You open our frameless doors, and it's a lazy Susan inside, both on the top and the bottom. So we can spin that around, and we have access to everything in that cabinet from front to back. Woodmode even made all of our trim for us that we're putting above our cooktop. Here we'll have our updraft, pulling the smoke out. Again, very appealing to the eye. Got crown molding running around here. Our built-ins are gonna look awesome. Once we slide our refrigerators in, we've got a shelf where we can put things up on it. A lot of glass doors gonna be in here. Again, very, very nice to the eye. Now the kitchen isn't the only place that you're gonna have permanent furniture. Things you need to check out are also the utility room and the bathroom. Let's go take a look. Now one place you're gonna be around furniture every morning is in your bathroom, so you may as well do it nice in there as well too. We've done something similar to what we did in the kitchen with racks on both sides of our sink. We have a rack here where we can put perfumes or deodorants or aftershaves. On this side, we've got a rack where we can hang hand towels. So you don't have to have an ugly medicine cabinet or a towel rack built in around your sink area. You can put it right in the cabinets itself. Something really nice about this furniture is wood mode put feet on the bottom of this. Instead of just running our cabinets straight down into the floor, they made it look like a really fine piece of furniture. And don't be afraid to go high up on your cabinets from the floor to the ceiling. It's okay to do, especially in utility rooms. There's not a lot of room in that area. You've got your washer and your dryer. You have tall things like mops, maybe even a little step ladder. You need room. Go ahead and take advantage of all the space in the utility room. Put in as many cabinets as possible. Before you lay out that kitchen or bathroom, there's just a couple more hints. Get with the designer from stage one. When you lay out those blueprints, have them help you pick the cabinets that will suit your lifestyle and your eye when you walk into that room. Well, now that our cabinets are installed, it's time to put on the countertops. We're working with Roman Marble, which is a countertop fabricator, to actually cut raw stone into our countertops. Now, this is a granite that we got from Walker Zanger, a stone company. You can see it has a really nice surface to it, very, very rich look. And it should be a rich look because it is an expensive stone that we're putting on here, but it will last longer than the rest of the house. This is a solid stone. It will be strong. Look at what they've done here with the profile. They actually cut this top piece by hand. This is a different piece they've installed there and a computer-aided design, they actually cut that with the machine. 
Now, granite is porous, so it will stain, so we have to be careful about it. When they cut it at the quarry, they actually go ahead and polish it to give it a strong surface. But you need to go ahead and seal it about every six months. It's just like a car. If you pour water on it and it beads up, it's okay. If it doesn't bead up, you need to go ahead and refinish it again. It takes about every six months, like I said. It's not hard to do, and it's not like the old sealers that turned yellow. It will still look good. There's a lot of different choices on granite. A lot of different colors you can go with and different designs, but always a good looking countertop. If you want something a little different, you can go with marble. If you like the veins in your countertop, marble is good to work with. It's not quite as solid as granite, but it is still pretty strong since it's a stone, but it scratches just a little easier. So if you have a lot of kids or do a lot of work with knives, marble may not be the right choice. Maybe better to go with granite. If you don't want to have to seal it like you do with marble or granite, you can go with a man-made stone that looks like granite. Now this man-made stone is actually quartz that has been cut up into little pieces. It's 93% quartz and it's 7% epoxy to hold it all together. It's super solid. It's not absorbent at all, so you're not going to end up with any stains. You don't have to seal it. The old standby that you see everywhere is laminates. I'll give you a side profile here. What a laminate is, is really like 11 pieces of paper that are glued together and then pressed together with heat and force to make a super solid surface on top. And then it's just glued to particle board. Inexpensive, the cheapest way to go as far as a countertop. Uh, sort of have a marble look to it. Back here we have a solid surface that's not stone. You see these manufactured by different companies. Uh, DuPont makes Corian. Really nice surface, solid white here. Here we have a piece that looks like granite. Over here, we've got all different styles. There's really no limit to what you can do with this. They can actually cut it and shape it any way that you want, build all types of things. There's never gonna be a seam when they put it together because after they glue it and heat it and cut it down, you won't see a seam at all. If you end up scratching it with a knife or anything, you can just sand over it and that scratch will go away because it's the same color through and through. It's actually mixed up all these different epoxies, and you're gonna see that no matter how deep you go in it. So it really lasts a lifetime. Very good. As far as price, it's about the same as a solid stone, but it makes for a very sharp countertop. Before you build your next kitchen or bathroom and you're thinking about countertops, besides looks, think about budget and durability.